Hi, I'm Pete, I'm married to Anna, and I've got two boys, Gus and Evelyn, and we go to the 915 service. Um, feeling that I've always had a, an element of faith, but didn't really know what it was. Um, and then Anna came to faith maybe eight, nine years ago. Um, I guess for me it was, is that, is it for others? Um, not, do, do I need it? You know, what, what, what is it? And it seems to be for, for others. So Anna was going and I was always interest, interested and intrigued, but never really felt anything or did anything about it. And then over time came to what is, I, I guess just didn't really connect with it, um, but it was important for us as a family and, and that importance has grew and, and grew. And then, yeah, you know, seeing home groups in action at home and then reading things and then getting to the point where it feels that the time's right and, and, and it's an exciting time. I don't feel I've had a direct encounter with God. I just see God working in my life or, or others. So I can't give you a, a, wow, a wow moment, but I can feel that he's, he's at work. Um, my life's changed for the better since becoming a Christian um, and realising where to put God and putting God at the centre and up front before every, everything and everyone else was really framed my life and decisions and although and if anything strengthen my relationship with with Anna with the kids and with everybody and that's that's just a great place to be and I think for me that was that light bulb moment which was really powerful in terms of what what faith could do and yeah there's a Bible verse that really speaks to me at the minute one that's picked up via the kids CD that we listen to in, in the car um, from Thess Thessalonians um, and it says um, be joyful always, pray continuously and, and give thanks in all circumstances. And that for me is just really powerful and just demonstrates a, a lot to me in terms of how one wants to live their life. And uh, yeah, it always puts a smile on my face. I want to get baptised because I feel I need to, to reset. Um, I think it's, I've lived a way, which I don't think has been a bad way, but um, blimey, there's, there's, there's a better way to live, a, a more honest way, a uh, more open way, um, to follow in Jesus' footsteps and to, to follow God, to have that relationship with God, which I've got now, but blimey, if I could develop that relationship even more, then that would be fantastic, and who knows what would happen.